Hey YouTube, today I am unboxing the Godzilla 2002 figure from X Plus. It is the wrecked version and I am really impatient to see what is inside the box. Uh, I still didn't have a, an X Plus figure from the Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla movie at home. I really enjoyed that movie and uh, let's see if the figure can truly deliver. So. Oh, nice. I really like the artwork so far, so let me pull the box out of the other box. Okay. Yeah, it's a great box, as usual, from X+. Plus. All right, let's open this box. All right, now it's time to open this box. And the moment of truth. Whoa, nice. All right, so for the curious among you, uh, this Godzilla comes in three pieces. You have the main body and the tail is in two parts. And as you can see on the back, uh, we have the battery pack because this one lights up. There's a feature with the dorsal fin lighting up. So. I'll be removing the plastic and everything and we'll see how it looks like after. All right, so now that we have the three parts out, we'll do as usual and we'll use the air blower to uh, warm up this piece of plastic so we can enter this piece of the air and the same for the other side with this piece of the tail here. So let's go ahead with the air blower. Okay, so we now have one part done, so let's go ahead for the big one. All right, guys, we have it, Godzilla 2002. Uh, wow, it's a very impressive figure. As you can see, the details is quite amazing. Uh, I think they, they nailed the face quite precisely. Pretty good. All the details you would expect for this kind of figure is there. Uh, I know I, I have the Rick version in my end. Usually people are a bit complaining about the spine, how they are painted, but really uh, this one, it's pretty amazing. It, it fits in. Uh, it looks a bit plastic, but not really. It looks more like crystal. So I wouldn't bug too much on that one. Uh, one thing though I noticed is when I plug the tail and the body part can you kind of see uh where the part is fitting together so just some one thing to keep in mind especially when you look at from the bottom but anyway who looks at Godzilla from the bottom right so yeah uh one thing really cool I'm, with this figure too is uh the tail here usually it's like long but like flat on the floor but this one goes up I really like this design, it's pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I will try with the uh, light up feature. So I'll plug this one in the figure. So the hole to insert the, the plug is there. It's not very clear at the moment, but yeah. So I will remove this part. There you go. This is where you need to insert the device here. So yeah, so let's try that. 
All right, so now that the batteries are inside the device, let's fire this guzzler up and see how it lights up. Oh, nice. Wow, it's quite bright. Oh, wow. Really good. It's like a dark blue, light bluish mix. It's really cool. You can see on the edge really how it's uh, lighting up all the details. It's pretty. Wow. The light feature is really good. Although here, kind of wish it was a bit lower and not like cutting it like as straight as this. Would be more like smooth, smoothing the, the effect, but maybe it's the design in the movie and I haven't noticed. Wow, it's pretty cool. All right, my thoughts on this uh, awesome Godzilla 2002 X Plus Rick Edition, exclusive Rick Edition figure. Uh, wow, it's quite impressive. Uh, I like the details of the figure, the Godzilla pose here. Um, but frankly, what's the most impressive about this figure? It's really the lighting feature. Uh, I don't own any other Godzilla figure that lights up as much as this one. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's because I have like uh, good batteries in the pack, but really uh, it's just the lighting features work like the pay the extra. The integration is good, could have been better, but still it's when it's turned off, it looks like it's painted like normally. So yeah, to conclude, I recommend this figure. Make sure to get the Rick Plus Edition and you'll be amazed. So see you next time.